Now, at the beginning of my European experiment, near four and a half months ago, I expected nothing but the eloquence and resilience of the same Europe that I had manifested to me by the books and pictures of my youth. As an observer of political and social occurrences, I must state that there is a continued vestige of hope in the European continent. Exposure to the rules, the customs, the regularities, and the practices of the various European lifestyles only serve to further my appreciation for the mother civilization of our own North America. While the fuzzy mirage of the centralized European state is being sold to its citizens, the people, the people are becoming conscious of their condition and situation. Protests of thousands of individuals throughout European capitals give hope that democracy is flourishing and that toleration of statist abuse is nowhere to be found. In my journeys, my fellow countrymen across Austria, Slovakia, Hungary, the Netherlands, Belgium, Slovenia, Croatia, and England, it is easy to become cognizant of why these individual societies and peoples should be valued. Perhaps they share a continent, but they mostly hold differing views on what their future should be. It is the right of every people to self-determinate their own fate and autonomy. And it is the spirit of freedom and liberty which lights the fire of national pride and success in these states, not the dictates of a centralized body in Brussels. As human beings, we do seek love, justice, equality, and happiness. And the time spent searching for these on this vast continent have yielded varieties of each. I thank this glorious continent for the gifts it has bestowed me, and I wish every individual be granted the liberty to flourish under the auspices of a self-determined future, no matter the color of their flag. From the last time in Österreich, au revoir et bonne chance à tous. Ich bin ein Berliner.